let's get into it. What is our first topic of the run down after dark? Uh, from Collider, new the Continental Images deliver a first look at Mel Gibson's John Wick villain. The prequel series will center on John Wick's friend and companion Winston and his early years, detailing how he came to be the owner of the Continental Hotel in the 1970s. Let's run down the cast. Heck yeah. I knew Tabitha was going to be excited about this one. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah. I showed her this. I said, oh yeah, we're, we're, definitely, we're yeah. definitely talking about, about this one. A uh, chance to think of Mel Gibson, too, as a bad guy who's A-OK -okay in my book. Okay, I can see that. I can see that. But, yeah, on Collider, they, they showed the, the, the cast, and I got them displayed right next to us right now. But let's, uh, let's look at these guys and uh, what their names are right here. So we have, for the Continental Series here, we have Mel Gibson as a crime kingpin called Cormac. Cormac. Uh, we have uh, Ayomi, Ayomi, if I'm saying that right, Ad Adaguns. Yeah, Sorry I don't know I'm, how to say I'm, that name. Uh, butchering that as uh, Charon. Uh, Colin Waddell's is the younger version of Winston Scott. Winston was the mm -hmm. the, con the yeah the right hand um, and the man who recently passed away. Um, uh, Misha Prada as the uh, N NYPD detective uh, KD. Jeremy Bob as Mayhew. Jessica Elaine as Lou. We have uh, Herbert Point Du. Jar as Miles, and we have Nung Kate as Yin, and Ben Ro uh, Robson as Frankie, who will serve as the older brother of, of Winston. Uh, Tabs, I'll throw it to you first, since you are a John Wick stan. I'm what are you excited about most? What are you looking I'm forward to? I'm wholeheartedly excited to kind of see if they're going to dive down, dive into what the bigger picture is of who's running everything, mm. like what that group looks like who they are and kind of why they run things the way that they do. So that's really my hope for getting this kind of prequel backstory to some of the details that aren't necessarily in the John Wick movies. Mm -hmm. And then getting a full story of what Winston is and who he is and how he became what he is. And right. so I really, I'm just kind of just thrilled to get like almost just more information. I in, I enjoy the storyline so much. For me. That, for me. Yes, for me. <laughs> I really do. I enjoy the storyline so much that I'm just excited to get more information about it. So, like, that's just the best part in my aspect of what I'm looking forward to is seeing what, what brings about the details. It felt like you were doing like a Folgers Crystals commercial. Like the best part of waking up is the Winston in your cup, right? Yes. I mean, who doesn't love a good Winston? So, <laughs> what about you, babe? What are you looking for? Are you are you looking? For, this is going to be on what uh, Paramount, right? Or Peacock? Peacock. 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 Uh, are you looking forward to this one at yeah, all? You I think? mean, I like I love John Wick, so I'm hope I hope that this is good. I yeah, me too. It's, does its due diligence and really gives us what we expect yes mm -hmm. yes i hope it lives up to the same standards yes. that the john wick movies have really excelled in that's a big part of that then and, and and hopefully they really yeah. adhere to that sure. part yeah. of it too uh yeah i'm looking forward uh to like you said expanding on the uh oh look at that you uh she is uh, right on time with. I, for, I totally forgot about the. I was the, already there, man. I totally I forgot like, I about the. I knew you were going to forget. I, yeah. for, I <laughs> forgot about it. Joy making fun of me. I, I put Tabitha in charge of, of the display uh, right here, and she's like, bloop, own it. That's probably the only thing that's going to be displayed is John Wick. Every other topic is just going to yeah, be content. Yeah, screw the other topics. Yeah. It's prettier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to just keep it on that. But yeah, I'm looking forward to, like I said, when I, was, I, I didn't know Mel Gibson uh, was going to be this. And, and, and based on what we saw on the Expendables, was it the Expendables? Uh, he he plays a good bad guy, mm -hmm. and I guess you uh, I guess since you said Mel Gibson isn't one of your favorite guys in the world, so him playing a bad guy, you know Works what? For me. If he's go yeah, if he's go if he's gonna be in it, let him be a yep. villain. Means he's probably gonna. But what if it's a situation? Well, because this is a series, so what if this is a situation where he's going to be the villain like like throughout uh, the series? Like he's not gonna die like right away. Okay. I can see him being. Uh, I can harbor hate. You can harbor, <laughs> <laughs> right? But uh, that you everybody can build else, on it, man. yeah, yeah, I can. He's right. Oh, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, uh, Tabitha is gonna be like, it doesn't matter because we don't see you in the movies, so you're dead. You're probably <laughs> dead. So that's that's what she's mostly happy about, uh, uh, mostly. But but 
w- w- I mean, personal feelings aside, whatever I feel about like Mel Gibson or any uh, anybody else, he is a good actor. Oh, he's he, a fantastic he can, actor. He, he, you and, can't and deny every, that. Yeah, he's, you can't deny that. And and when he plays a villain, he he crushes it. So I'm looking forward to that. So I I I can't wait. This only hypes me up more. Uh, did it did, did it say or did I write down when it, I think it said something in like August I think it's supposed to be coming out uh, right? It doesn't say. I, f- I forgot. To, I know it, I know it's written somewhere, but I forgot to. Uh, August to of when? Th- this year it's coming out this year. Oh. I know it's coming out this year. I so mean I'm that's like in four weeks. Yeah. All right. All right. So yeah. I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to check it out. So uh, let us know what you guys think. Are you uh, interested in checking out the Continental, the new John Wick spinoff? Uh, I think I believe there's another spinoff. Uh, be, uh, was the it ballet, ba- the ballet? The oh, yeah, ballet one. Yeah. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. But they said did they say that that was going to be a movie or? I think like it's a series too. That's a series, that a series as well. Too? I thought that one was supposed to be a movie. I thought that was supposed to be a movie, but it's probably. I mean, either or. I mean, hey, yeah, I'll you take like it. You it like says it's going to air its first episode September the twenty second. September. Oh, okay, I was yes. wrong. Okay, I was say, I August. thought they started them after school started, mm. which is typically end of August, and so a lot of the things, the shows and stuff for series, they mm. tend to start um, either like right after that or in September, from what I recognized. But of right. course, I don't know off the top of my head. So. Okay. Well, I mean, well, it's not that far away. I mean, yeah, right after uh, uh, August comes September. So there we go. So guys, let us know what you guys think. Are you guys looking forward to the Continental? Are you uh, hyped about the cast? Are you just whelmed? Uh, mm-hmm. I'm I'm looking forward to it. Does this make? Do you have Peacock? I do, but I have to figure out how to get it on my main TV. I, what? I have a smart TV that I don't know how to get. You have a, a smart app. TV that's dumb. Yeah, I do. I think it's too old of a smart TV. Like it's because it's a oh. huge. I bought. I invested when it was like. It was this massive TV, smart TV. You got one of those first generation yeah. smart TVs? Not first. I'm thinking I'm like in the third generation. Okay. But it's like I can't get the, a new app on there. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, it doesn't have Peacock because I don't think Peacock was around. No. And so. Oh, oh, yeah, that makes sense. And so I don't know how to get okay. that app on there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That, that <laughs> so makes I'm a little sense. stumped. Your that, TV's like, you only get the OG. I yeah, know, yeah, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. so Nothing we, else. We had, a, we had a Roku that we've had, for, that you had for years. Uh, you had, had it before it I met you. For, yeah, and it was, and at the time, it was the most latest state-of-the-art Roku. Mm-hmm. But it, was, uh, it wasn't uh, well, adaptable it to the... Got, well, no, they said that, that they said that version of it wasn't going to be able to uh, hold Apple the, TV Plus. Some oh, of the, like, the new the, the, stuff and all the newer gotcha. programs. Yeah, it was it was an them. ultra, you know, HD version, but it still was that, that generation of it still wouldn't hold Apple TV. Huh. And the, and these little rinky dink Roku's that you can kind of see over yeah. here in the studio, these little rinky dinky Roku's could hold it, but your top of the line Roku couldn't. It was well, weird. It was from like. 2014. Yeah, 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 yeah I totally yeah. get it. Third generation. Now, there right? are some things about <laughs> it that we do miss in some aspects because it has a little button on it that when you would push it, it would call your remote. So oh, you snap. Would hear your you remote going hear. Yeah. Oh, damn. Because that is a good that feature. That gets lost. <laughs> uh huh. Constantly. Now, now tell them. Now tell now them the what bad the bad thing was, about that was. <laughs> Nala likes to sit on it because it's hot. Our cat. The box is hot. Oh no! And so she was constantly stepping on the button. Yes, and constantly and calling yes, the remote. But we were yeah. like, get off of the box. <laughs> That's hilarious. So yeah, so speaking about the Continental Roku, no. <laughs> but guys, let us know what you guys think about the Continental, the cast, and everything. And uh, well, maybe we'll talk about it when the upcoming we got your mail. Now let's move on to the next topic, babe. What do we have from Vanity Fair? Our mother cloches. That's the same thing in Spanish, by the way. They appreciate it. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button, like, and comment your thoughts on this topic or any topics that you think that we should talk about in upcoming videos. Also, you can follow us at T3 Medias on Instagram, Twitch, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, and we also have a T3 Media Studios podcast where we post our movie reviews and episodes of The Rundown. Till next time, guys.